Happy New Day, and welcome to We're in Motion Wednesday. Today, I want to share a story that teaches us a valuable lesson from my life. I work here at Grand Valley State University IT Help Desk, and we have a call center. We deal with all types of people, funny people, smart people, people who have no idea what they're talking about, but think they do. It's not, I'm kidding. It's just a help desk. But my personal favorite people are the nice people the nice people. I dealt with one of these people last week. And when I answered the phone, IT help desk, Nishan speaking. She said, is it Nishan? N Nishan? I was like, yeah, that's, that's perfectly it. Pause. It means a lot for her to ask me my name because I get John, Rashawn, Sean, Paul. It's ridiculous. But she asked me my name and it felt really nice. So we began talking and she ended up reaching the wrong department. So I said I could get her transferred over. And she said, Nishan, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And I put her on hold to get her transferred over. When I put her on hold, I realized it kind of made me feel good, the fact that she remembered my name. And I wanted to let her know, but I already put her on hold. But I took her off hold anyways and told her it meant a lot to me. She laughed and we laughed together and she said it made her day. Then I put her on hold, got her transferred over. The thing this story teaches us is that I almost didn't tell her how much it meant to me, which means I would have almost made her day. I would have almost made her smile. I would have almost laughed and hung up from there and been nice to someone else who was mean to me after in the next call. So what this teaches us is that almost doesn't add up. If I would have almost done those things, that's just as good as not doing it at all. So we need to look at our lives and see where we almost applied for the job, almost put our resume in, almost wrote a hand letter to our friend, almost called our mom, almost, 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 almost. We could have almost done a million things, but still done nothing. It's ridiculous. It's like, it's insane. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, but all the things we almost do mean nothing. The difference between the person who almost read a book and the person who didn't read a book, they both didn't read the book either way. So when we almost say something, it, we need to stop glorifying it. Oh, I almost did this. It's okay. You, you, I, I, almost, I almost was on time. Professors don't like it. You, hey, you're either late or you're on time. No credit. I'm sorry. No credit. You're, you're, hey, you're late. So what we need to do is push ourselves over into the threshold of I started. I started is a resume builder. I started is a learning opportunity. So let me give an example would be my friend. She's an aspiring photographer. And she didn't talk about how she's almost going to get a camera, how she's almost going to start looking online to get better, almost going to play with the manual Zoom. No, she started being a photographer when she said that's what she wanted to do. She got the camera. She got the tripod. She got the attachment, the wrong attachment. They gave her the wrong attachment in the mail. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Oh. She's like, it's all right. I'm going to get another one. She started. Started is limitless. We don't know where it can take us. But when we almost start, we know we're not gonna get any results. So what I want us to do this week is think about where we are almost doing things that are gonna propel us forward. Almost changing our lives, almost changing the lives of others, and then turn that into a, I started. Let's start something this week. Start something that's on that to-do list that you know is going to take you to the next level. So until next time, remember, be who you were yesterday, and that wealth is in the mind.